Rojo, the therapy llama, made a lot of people happy in our community. He visited retirement centers, crashed some weddings, walked in parades. <laughs> But sadly, this morning, Rojo died after his health took a turn in the last couple of months. Joe Ranieri is here now. So you talked to Rojo's owner this morning who was, you know, uh, with him today. And uh, this is this is a pretty sad thing. He retired just recently. Exactly. Late last month. And a lot of people were surprised by all this. The health concerns. He was only 17 years old. His owner, Lori Gregory, told me he started showing signs that he wasn't himself lately, even dropping close to 80 pounds over the last two months. Today, Lori shared memories of the Rojo who they who had she who they've had since he was a baby. Rojo, the therapy llama, was arguably one of the biggest personalities in our area. From spending time with senior citizens to birthday parties and even weddings, Rojo brought so much joy to people in our area. Lori Gregory bought Rojo for her daughter, Shannon, when he was just a baby. Well, we got Rojo for Shannon when he was only four months old. We purchased him from a llama breeder down in um, Estacada area. The love they had for him quickly spilled out into the community. And he showed that love, too, with his signature kisses. It was always exciting to do all the Rose Festival parades and the junior parades with Rojo because so many people knew him from his therapy work. He was the first therapy llama certified by Dove Lewis Animal Hospital. Rojo retired at the end of October, but it was before his retirement that Lori and her daughter noticed something wasn't right. It's been a very emotional roller coaster. Um, beginning of October, we started real seeing a few um, symptoms that Rojo wasn't doing as well as he had always been. They say he lost between 60 to 80 pounds over the last two months. We didn't know, we, we wouldn't have known until we took Rojo to Oregon State that what was really going on was something more hereditary or genetic. Doctors weren't able to determine exactly what led to his death. We don't know with 100%. Um, there was some fluids in his chest that the vets um, were considering could have been cancerous. Rojo is going to leave behind memories, but his spirit will live on. His body will be preserved and then donated to the Washington State School for the Blind in Vancouver, inside the school's African Sensory Safari exhibit, where there's a collection of wild animals like cougars, polar bears, and lions. Students um, can get a sense of the size of these animals, the, the way they feel, their different textures, um, their different components and features um, in a way that you don't normally get to explore. That will still bring joy, just like Rojo spent his life doing. Now, the Washington State School for the Blind will be holding a celebration of life for Rojo, but that hasn't been scheduled yet. Lori and her daughter have set up a GoFundMe to raise money for the vet bills. If you'd like to help, just head to our website and click on the news link section. This probably came as a big surprise to a lot of people. Right. Because it, it happened very quickly. One day we're talking about retirement and now... Exactly. It just it happened really quick. I guess with llamas, it's, if they start to show signs of you know some health issues, it, it does tend to go yeah. quick, especially if you, they can't find a, a way to cure what was going on. Well, we enjoyed having Rojo here no so kidding. much at KGW mm -hmm. so many times. Thank you, Joe.